Welcome to the Corsicana ISD presentation for our in-school students and families in grades seven through 12. Thank you for being with us this afternoon. Whether you watch us live today or watching this recorded, we appreciate your trust and your confidence in Corsicana ISD. When you logged into this meeting, you should have been able to select listening to this presentation in either English or Spanish. We would like to thank Lucy Jones, Corsicana High School, for the Spanish translation. We'd also like to thank Tricia Huddleston, who is our lead interpreter for her signing presentation. Thank you, Tricia. This information is presented almost identically in our CISD back to school framework. The document can be found online, as well as many other resources on the Corsicana ISD webpage at cisd.org. The framework that we're talking through was developed in compliance with the CDC, the Texas State Department of Health Services, Texas Education Agency, and our local health departments. We call this plan a framework because it is subject to change as our requirements and guidelines change. We have received questions via email that we will address in this presentation. If you have questions during the presentation, we will do our best to answer those at the end as our time allows. Please feel free at any time to email us at info at CISD.org if you have questions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available on our website. Thank you again for attending. Thank you, Dr. Frost. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Elmer Villaneda, and I serve the Corsicana Independent School District as the Associate Superintendent. The purpose of the following informational slides is to provide an overview of the district safety measures that will be in place at the commencement of the 2020-2021 academic school year. Over the last several months, there have been several meetings held, various meetings with various topics. And the one constant for every single one of those meetings has been the safety of the students, the staff, and our community. So let's get started with safety first. For the upcoming school year, Corsican ISD students and staff will be asked to self-screen for COVID-19 symptoms before entering any Corsicana Independent School District facility. The purpose for that is to make sure we reduce the transmission, minimize the transmission of the virus. Parents, one of the things you can do before your student comes to school is to make sure you check for the key indicators, the key symptoms that are as follows. Cough, shortness of breath, muscle pain, and a high fever are key indicators of the virus. If your student has any of these symptoms, please do not send them to school. We're respectfully asking out of our community and you parents and our staff to adopt an altruistic values approach. One of the great things we do here in Corsican ISD and our community is that we take care of each other. We implement the take care of Corsicana mentality. And now more than ever, we need to take care of each other. It's time to mask up. For the following third grade and up students, we're asking that they wear clean face coverings over their nose and mouth. These coverings can be of any color or type as long as they are clean and free of any political advertising inappropriate for the school setting. The reason we're asking this out of our community and you parents is again, we are trying to minimize the transmission of the virus. Social distancing. Corsican ISD students and staff will be asked to socially distance while indoors whenever possible. Our great campus administrators have plans in place and we'll discuss those plans at the campus meetings in more detail. When students are outside and able to socially distance, masks will not be required. When they are outside for physical education or recreational activities are some of the examples that where masks will not be required. Hand washing. One of the great things we can do as a district is to prepare our students with the knowledge that they need to do appropriate hand washing. Students will be trained on proper hand washing protocols. In addition, hand sanitizers will be available throughout each campus and classroom for the upcoming school year. 
We are going to increase our sanitation measures here in the Corsicana Independent School District. Each classroom and restroom will be disinfected daily. All high frequent touch areas, such as bathrooms and doors, will be disinfected daily. We're gonna ask our custodians to wear masks and gloves during work hours. The cafeteria will be disinfected between lunch and breakfast periods. Additional cleaning measures will be implemented for the COVID-19 positive cases on campus if and when that occurs. Thank you, Dr. Egg. My, my name is Shade Boware. I'm going to first be speaking to you a little bit about campus visitors. Um, we're going to try our best to limit um, all outside traffic onto campuses and there's going to be some expectations and some help that we need from the community and parents in doing so. Campus visitors will be screened for COVID-19 symptoms in addition to other health and safety protocols. All visitors will be required to wear a mask. The front, understand this though, that the screening process may look a little different depending on which campus you're talking about as the campus setups at the, at the front um, is not the same on each and every camp, campus. So those protocols could vary from campus to campus. At this time, to minimize exposure to other students and staff, we're not allowing uh, visitors on campus for lunch. Lunch times for students will be staggered in cafeterias or in classrooms to ensure social distancing. And uh, there are some detailed schedules on the campuses that will go with that. And the interference of having people come in to eat lunch with students, even though that would be great, is just something we're not gonna be able to do at the moment. Health resources. Campus nurses. Each campus has a registered nurse RN to assist students with health related services such as administering med medications and providing resources to parents and families. Uh, we've got a tremendous group of nurses within the district and tremendous leadership within that nursing department. They're gonna have the normal job that a nurse would do within a school year to take care of. And they're also gonna have the challenges of facing what's coming for us in terms of COVID-19. Uh, but I have no doubt that we've got the right people in place to do so. Uh, this year, the nurses will help guide lessons on mitigation strategies to protect students and staff while at school. Uh, these lessons are, are, are being put out by the nursing department, uh, both to inform and, and to attempt to create great uh, hygiene habits for our students. The nurses will be instrumental in helping to identify and isolate potential COVID-19 cases. The, the professional opinions that our, our nurses are able to bring to the table are going to be huge in terms of identifying what are truly symptoms and, and, and what might not be truly symptoms. And, and that's gonna be a difficult job, but again, I know we've got the right people in place to make that happen. As a district, we know there may be an increase in need for counseling services. Our superintendent and the board of trustees have taken a proactive approach to make sure we're ready for any student or all students that need counseling services. What the board of trustees have done along with the superintendent is they've allowed for the addition of two student support counselors. Counselors are gonna be available throughout the district for students. A special phone number is available for any student to reach out for help. The counselors and the student support counselors are gonna have extended hours. That phone number, if you may need it, is 903-641-2334. In addition, we have an email set up for any or all students that may need to email their counselor or student support counselor. That email is counselorsupport at cisd.org. Bus transportation is gonna look a little bit different for the upcoming school year parents. Students will be required to wear a mask on the bus. Elementary students are going to ride two to a seat, while secondary students will ride one to a seat, unless they are family. Multiple routes will be made to accommodate students, and bus drivers will disinfect in between routes to make sure they are clean. If you as a parent need bus transportation, please contact the transportation office to sign up for bus transportation as soon as possible. And again, parents and students will be asked to self-screen for COVID-19 symptoms prior to coming on the school bus and to any CISD facility. 
Another great thing that our superintendent and board of trustees have accomplished is the following. Every single student in the Corsicana Independent School District for the upcoming school year is going to be eligible for a free breakfast and a free lunch this year. Students will eat in their classrooms and cafeteria depending on each campus schedule. Like I mentioned earlier, each campus administrator has, a de has designed a specific plan for his or her campus. And that's gonna be discussed in more detail at the campus parent meetings. Thank you, Dr. A. My name is Kim Holcomb and I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction. I'd like to talk for just a minute about instruction and attendance. This year, parents have been asked to select one of three learning options for their students. The three options are on-campus learning and two virtual options, one that is self-paced and another that is guided by a teacher. Tonight, we're gonna to talk about the on-campus instruction for seventh through 12th grade. If a student has to leave the on-campus instruction due to any type of quarantine or isolation, they may be able to continue their lessons online. That can be done in one of the two virtual formats, which is considered a synchronous format, which is live instruction, or asynchronous format, which would be a self-paced instructional model. In addition, if a student needs to change their learning method, they may do so at the end of the nine-week period. Student attendance will be taken each day, and for the 7 through 12 instructional model, the um, instruction will be Monday through Friday, and it will be during our regular school hours. They will follow a regular class schedule, and they will transition to different classrooms for instruction. This will be for their core classes as well as their elective classes. There will be devoted time at the beginning of the year uh, to learn our new learning management system, which is called Canvas. All instructional resources, assignments, teacher lessons will all be housed in the Canvas platform. In addition to learning the Canvas platform, we will be focusing on social and emotional learning, as well as the safety and health protocols at each campus. By doing the uh, dedicated time to learn our Canvas system, it will allow us to be able to transition very easily to virtual learning as needed. Students will be doing some projects um, online as well as assignments online, as well as in the classroom. So there will be a blended learning model for the classrooms. What do students need to bring? We are encouraging students to bring their own mask that will cover both their nose and their mouth. The Course Can ISD will be providing that personal protective equipment, but we do encourage students to bring their own. If they want to bring a decorative one, that would be fine as well. We are also asking that they bring a backpack without wheels, wear standardized CISD dress, as well as a water bottle with their name, which is optional. We will be closing the water fountains due to safety um, just for drinking, but we will actually be able to offer them um, a place to refill their water bottles as needed if they bring a water bottle to school. At the beginning of the year, the Course Canna ISD will be providing a water bottle at the very beginning of the school year and they can refill as needed. What will CISD provide? We will be providing an electronic device to all learners. We will be one-to-one -one this school year and we are very excited about that. We will be offering basic school supplies for the in-person learners. They will have access to pencils, erasers, glue, and notebooks and composition books and all the things necessary for a back-to-school experience. We will also be providing breakfast and lunch every day, as well as bus, bus transportation if requested, as mentioned earlier. Okay, what is close contact? Close contact is defined as having direct contact to secretions, being within six feet of a COVID uh, positive person, or symptomatic person for a cum cumulative duration of 15 minutes. Understand that this definition is extremely important as it guides all the decision, make, decision making that we will do in terms of tracing and identifying any individual uh, who's been exposed and may need to isolate, um, whether it be a student or a staff member. Confirmed case on campus notification. Of course, CAN ISD will inform the campus community, staff and parents of a confirmed positive test from an individual who was present on that campus. The emailed notice will include the last date that person was on the campus. Close contact notification. In addition, during contact tracing, if the COVID positive person was in close contact with specific person or people, those individuals will be contacted separately 
and will need to quarantine uh, for 14 days or until they have the release uh, from a physician. These notices will, be, will also be posted on the website under the COVID-19 resources page and CISD, CISD will not identify individuals by name in order to comply with both HIPAA and FERPA regulations uh, to protect privacy. Student and staff positive test results. When a student or staff member receives a positive test result and the COVID positive person has been on campus within the last seven days, they should complete the student COVID-19 reporting form or the staff COVID-19 reporting form that is located on the CISD website under COVID resources. And on, on the next slide, I will show you where it's located on the website. And, and I want everyone to know this is, this is one of the most important things that we can tell you if you're symptomatic or if you have tested positive is to immediately as a student or a staff member or parent, go onto our website and fill out the reporting form. What that's gonna do is it's gonna trigger an alert to us that, that will begin the notification process and the tracing process. And, and time can be of the essence uh, once, that, once that has happened <clears throat> in order to attempt to limit any further exposure to staff or students. Campus closure notice. In the event that a classroom or campus needs to close due to a high volume of COVID positive cases, notices will be sent via email, text message, and through phone calls. All right, here's the slide uh, that will show you where to go for the reporting form. You can access it through the uh, parent communities tab at the top or the, the staff tab and go to, and go to COVID uh, uh, information. And you see down there where the arrow is, there's a student option and there's a staff option. It's a very, very short form that's in there. There are only five questions uh, at that point in, in the process. We don't need a ton of information. Uh, we just need to get the alert so that the process does start and, and those conversations and notifications can go into play immediately. Positive COVID-19 students should seek medical advice and remain home for at least 14 days. Now, when we say that, you've already heard Dr. A speak about uh, self-screening. Everyone just needs to take, to take a lot of caution into this and err on the side of caution when, if you do have symptoms that occur. That being said, I'm gonna to read to you the most current uh, symptoms that are listed from TEA and the CDC. Feeling feverish or measured temperature greater than or equal to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, loss of taste or smell, cough, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, fatigue, headache, chills, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, shaking or exaggerated shivering, significant muscle pain or ache, diarrhea, nausea or vomiting. As most of you know, these are all symptoms that could uh, correlate to, to any, several other types of sickness, typical sicknesses that, that could be going, but they are COVID symptoms at the time and, and we would urge everyone to take it seriously if you are experiencing or if anyone in your household is experiencing any of these symptoms for the time being. Thank you. Student registration. We were asking that each parent complete a commitment form on the CISD website. This commitment form will be the selection that you make for the style of instructional model that you will choose for your child. That is the in camp on campus or the two virtual models. In addition, there is a new student enrollment packet that is open now. If you need to enroll in CISD, you can find those on our website. There will also be a first aid packet that will be available to students either on campus or on the website. Those will be available on August the 24th. All of these forms can be done online, but they also can be picked up on campus. There will also be campus meetings um, for each campus. Stay tuned for more details for each campus to um, market their date of when they're gonna be having the parent meetings. There will also be scheduled pickups uh, for their schedules. And Ms. Johnson will be speaking further on that to give you the dates and times for the middle school and the high school. Hello, I'm Susan Johnson, Executive Director of Communications for Corsicana ISD. And we have uh, for you the schedule pickup here. Um, so Corsicana Middle School will have their schedule pickup. It is a drive-through pickup on Monday, August 31st from four to six. 
um, September 1st from noon until 2 p.m. and September 2nd from 10 a.m. until noon. And that is for all learning methods. All students are welcome to come and pick up their schedule at Corsicana Middle School again on August 31st, September 1st, and September 2nd. Um, Corsicana High School has also just recently announced their schedule pickup. So Corsicana High School pickup will also be a drive through right there in the front at the front of the school. Again, this is open to all students, all learning methods. The dates are September 1st from 830 to 1130 will be for ninth graders. On September 1st from 1 till 4 will be for 10th grade. On September 2nd from 830 to 1130 will be 11th grade. And then from 1 to 4 will be 12th grade. Again, um, that is for Corsicana High School schedule pickup. So we encourage you um, to make time during those times. And if those times don't work for you for whatever reason, we will be happy to work with you. Um, you just need to let us know. We understand that all of the information that we're presenting today and all the information that you have received thus far can be a little overwhelming. And so we are here to try to help you navigate through this, this time. Um, if you would, if you have any questions at all, feel free to, at any time, email info at CISD.org for further information. We will respond to you um, as well as try to find any um, additional answers that we may need. We will also include this information on our frequently asked questions, which is online right now. Um, you may have seen the recording from yesterday's parent meeting, uh, which is also posted online. Um, there are, under the frequently asked questions, we've also added some additional questions that we have been receiving from parents. Um, so I have a few other questions that I'll go ahead and answer um, this afternoon as we have received them. Uh, one question we have received is, what happens if my student has money left over on their account from last year? Um, so through my school bucks, parents have the opportunity to put money uh, for their children on this account. If there is money there or if you want to put more money on there, um, as our administrators have mentioned before, we do have free meals available to all of our students, breakfast and lunch. Um, so we do have um, snacks. Snacks will be able will be provided for our students, maybe not the first nine weeks, but after that, um, they will be available. And so they can use that extra money on their My School Bucks account to make those purchases. Um, in addition, and starting right away, there are some students that like to purchase additional meals or um, additional food. So they can also use that money at any time to do that as well. Um, another question is, what? how do you, or how can a parent, um, how can a parent clear their students or medically clear their students so that they do not have to wear a mask at school? Um, obviously, there are some medical conditions and other conditions to be considered uh, for some students who cannot wear a mask for certain reasons. Um, there is a procedure for that, and these students would need to be in communication with each campus nurse, and they will be able to provide the appropriate form and documentation that they'll need in order to get clearance for that. Um, so another question and a very good one um, says, or the question was, um, I have a high school freshman who is very nervous about starting a new campus and uh, wants to know what um, Corsicana High School is doing to help prepare her child. And so um, we know in the CHS students know that this is a, a big moment in your life as well as your students. And so we are going to do everything we can to try and make this a little bit easier, better transition. Uh, one thing that the high school is doing is um, they're coordinating to create a virtual campus tour for freshmen. So they'll be able to see the high school and see um, a little bit more than what they would uh, if not being on campus before. So they are preparing that and that will be out in the next few weeks. Um, please, though, do keep in mind that every student will be in the same situation. So we'll do our best to uh, make everyone comfortable, especially on that first day. Um, and then in addition, there also will be virtual meetings scheduled for the different campuses. So be on the lookout for those meetings as they, as they are scheduled. 
Um, another question was, what if I signed up for one learning option and I need to change that option? We are making plans right now based on um, the options, these commitment forms that students and parents have completed. And they're super important to planning for your child um, at school. We, um, if, if you do need to change or make a change to that commitment form, there is a change form that is available on the website. It's cisd.org. Um, you can complete that change form and then it will be entered into the system. But again, we do ask you to please um, refrain from making those changes as much as possible. Um, and I think that's it. Did, was there anything else that y'all need to, okay. Um, so those are really the questions that we have um, for this afternoon. And um, we hope that you stay up to date. Um, be checking the website often. We will continue to update our frequently asked questions there. You may email info at CISD.org at any time. And um, we thank you again for your trust and confidence in CISD. And we hope to be able to provide a really good, safe learning environment for your student next year. Thank you.